Okay, today uh, we experimented with a lesson using Lego pieces that I got from the Lego store. Uh, in this process of experimentation, we learned we needed a legend or a standardization form so we can standardize what the different parts of a cell would look like. Uh, and these were the standardized parts. You couldn't just call anything whatever you wanted it to be. Okay, so we have the ribosomes, which are like proteins. We got nutrients, which are diamond shapes. Um, this is a little clear circle. Uh, DNA strands that go on the nucleus. We got the Golgi apparatus. And this is fifth grade stuff, so it doesn't have to be precise, precise. It's just kind of fun. If it's a plant cell, it has to have, chlor have chloroplasts. You got microtubules for the structure of the cell, mitochondrion for the energy packets. Uh, flagella and cilia is movement only for animal cells. We got smooth ER and rough endopl endoplasmic reticulum, because boys are rough and girls are smooth is what I like to say. Lysosomes and um, purple just happens to be disease because we accidentally put this dish of purple and so people were like putting it on and we said, oh, that's a diseased cell. Get that disease out of there. So. Um, these are cell walls or membranes because it has uh, receptor points on there or ways to go in and out of the cell. Okay, now what that ends up looking like after the kids make it is an animal cell that looks like this with the microtubules. Animal cells need more mitochondria. We got the smooth and the, end, and the rough endoplasmic reticulum on separate ratcheting pieces. We've got receptors, this is nutrients. That's a bell for those that want to hear what bells look like. It sound like it's cool. So animals require lo uh, cells. Uh, if it was a single celled animal, might require well should require some locomotion, and so you need more mitochondria than if it's a plant cell. This is a plant cell. Plant cells have cell walls but no locomotion, um, and you have chloroplasts. You got the smooth ER and the rough ER. You got one mitochondria. You've got more vacuoles because uh, plant cells require more area for water storage, whereas an animal cell only requires one vacuole. But this is a Golgi apparatus, and it has a docking station here for proteins. So you could take the ribosome and dock it here if you want to. You could even take, oops, you could even take nutrients from the section here and put it in the vacuole. You got uh, microtubules for the structure of the cell and you've got DNA situated. They have switches because they're constantly controlling what the cell does and it's on the brain which is the nucleus right here. And so these are lysosomes um, that are breaking down things and recycling old used up parts of the cell. Uh, this is the cytoplasm. Okay, you got to have a cytoplasm. So, yeah, uh, these ended up being nutrients flowing throughout the cell, cytoplasm, and it's whatever your uh, Lego store happens to have. But it's always nice to have these. These are these little tubular shaped ones make great vacuoles. On the principal, uh, interrupt me at the moment. Um, new problem. Let's get back to it. So this cell happens to have less lysosomes. Um, we got the nutrients. I don't know, nutrients or proteins are supposed to be on the receptors of the lysosome. But the whole point is that the kids understand what's going on and that they can design their own cell and understand that plant cells move, whereas or plant cells stay still like trees don't move, and animal cells can move. Uh, if they're a single cell and animal cell, but what is inside the animal cell versus that. So like this, this endoplasmic reticulum is so cool. Okay, get the idea. Uh, I'm going to walk around a little bit in my classroom. And you can see that after we did it, uh, we did some evaluation. And in order to evaluate, each kid would look at each other's, every kid would look at... Um, So here's a plant, larger vacuoles. It probably needs more chloroplast, only one chloroplast, but I said at least 
you know, too, because like a leaf is green, you know. It's an animal cell because it has wheels. It should have wheels, and it has more mitochondria. This one has more storage in the vacuole form. Maybe it wanted more gas, gasoline. So what we did is after we made them, we evaluated each other's work and then we rebuilt them or we edited it based on whatever other people had said about ourselves. Like this one looks pretty good, but if it's a plant cell, I had I would ask what's what's the wheels for? Because plant cells don't don't move, right? This is an animal cell. So on the Golgi apparatus, they put some nutrients here. Well, Golgi apparatus is like um, moving, preparing proteins for shipment, according to our science text. But remember, this is just introductory. And then later on, we do uh, we sing the song "Cell Parts." by uh, Mr. Sue, but there's other songs on the YouTube that I'm starting to look at too as well that we can choose to sing instead. This is of course part of the fifth grade cell lesson.